Are you looking for tips for more corner speed? Well, you found the right video. What's up, Rad family? I'm Dakota Freeman, and welcome to the Rad Adventure Dude channel. It's going to be so important that when we want to learn how to become better dirt bike riders, that we learn how to corner the fastest way possible. Our cornering is going to be done in the fastest way if we're riding in the proper riding position. In corners, we want to make sure that we get our body weight as far forward as possible, and we keep our head over the handlebars. We want to make sure that we have our elbows up, and we should always be gripping the motorcycle with our legs. This way we can have the most control out of our dirt bike possible. The next way that we can get around corners faster on our dirt bikes is going to be to lean our dirt bike to the inside of the corner. Leaning the dirt bike to the inside actually allows us to increase our throttle on our dirt bikes and get more acceleration from our bikes. When we lean the bike to the inside like this, it also shortens our turning radius to where we can corner much sharper and much faster on our dirt bikes. As we're leaning the bike to the inside, we want to counterbalance this with our body weight by shifting our weight to the outside of the bike. This way we can use our upper body to drive the bike to the inside. We want to make sure our inside arm is straight, our outside arm is bent at a 90 degree angle and up away from the bike. As we're doing this, we're actually driving the bike to the inside and really be able to push it to the inside. As we're doing this, our inside foot is going to be in front of the dirt bike out by the front wheel and our outside foot is going to be on the foot peg. This outside foot that's still on our foot peg, we want to make sure to drive our body weight into this outside foot peg, seating both tires with much more traction. When you drive your weight into the outside foot peg like this, it also helps you keep your upper body more forward on the dirt bike as you're accelerating and coming out of a corner. Make sure you're practicing this over time as it's going to be so important to really increase your corner speed on your dirt bike. The next way to increase our speed in our cornering is going to be working on our braking. If we're braking into this corner in the fastest way possible and then we eliminate our coasting time to where we can just get off the brakes and begin accelerating again on our dirt bikes, this is how we can really get around the corners in the fastest way possible. So when we're working on our braking coming into the corners, we want to work on using our front brake 90% of the time and use our back brake 10% of the time. Using both of these brakes driving into a corner, we want to make sure that we're standing up and avoiding any brakey bumps and get your body weight a little further back as you're braking this aggressively. This way it helps keep your rear wheel on the ground and you don't do a stoppy accidentally. As you're using the brakes like this, you also want to shift down in your gears to help apply the engine brake to help slow you down as well. As you're applying the engine brake, using your front brake and your rear brake, these three controls are what you're gonna to use to brake the bike in the fastest way possible. Then once you're in the corner and you're ready to accelerate again, you're gonna release your brakes, sit down on your bike and begin to accelerate. The reason I say to sit down at this point is so it puts more body weight on your rear tire and helps you drive out of the corner with the most acceleration possible. Is this video already helping you know how to get more corner speed out of your dirt bike? Make sure you like this video and drop some comments down below and ask me any other questions that you have. Now let's go over a couple different ways we can use our controls to get more corner speed out of our dirt bikes. When we're coming into a corner, we can use our rear brake to help slide the dirt bike into the corner. And this is gonna help us kind of begin to turn before we even get to the corner. As we're sliding our dirt bike, we're also gonna have it kind of kicked out to the side. And this is where we're gonna come into the corner on that rear brake and actually be able to slide into the corner. As soon as we get to where we wanna put the throttle back on, and since we're sliding here, we just let off the rear brake, begin to apply throttle, and actually continue power sliding around the corner. A power slide is where you're gonna be using the throttle to actually kick the rear end of the dirt bike out and be able to accelerate around a corner in a much faster way. When we power slide like this, we wanna make sure to always have our front wheel pointed in the direction that we're going. And this may mean that we have to turn our handlebars the opposite direction to keep that front wheel pointed in the direction we're going as the rear end of the bike is now beginning to kick out to the side. When you're doing this, it's very important that you get your body weight as far forward on the dirt bike as possible and make sure your head is over the handlebars. Use your feet to drive your weight into the foot pegs as this is going to help keep your body weight forward and give you so much more control. What the most important part of our cornering is going to become is going to be momentum. We want to make sure to hold the most momentum that we possibly can coming into our corners 
and as soon as we release our brakes, get back on the throttle and be able to continue holding our momentum around this corner. This is gonna be very important. If there's any jumps or obstacles coming out of the corner that we have to accelerate into and get the most speed before we hit them. So make sure you're working on this over time as your cornering is gonna be such a big part of our dirt bike riding. The best way to get comfortable with cornering in a faster way is gonna be riding with the proper riding technique. Make sure you perfect this and get your body weight as far forward on the dirt bike as you can and use your body weight and your pegs to really push your weight into the tires to give you the most traction possible. Rad family, I'm really proud of you for taking this time to become a better dirt bike rider. If you're still looking for more dirt bike riding tips, I'm always here. I've made a full dirt bike riding course over on my website that's gonna bridge the gap from going from a dirt bike beginner to an advanced rider. So make sure you go check that out as I really believe it's gonna help out your riding. Also, I have a free dirt bike beginner guide on my website. Just sign up for my newsletter and I'll send it straight to you. If this video helped you corner better, make sure you like this video and drop some comments down below and ask me any other questions that you have. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. After that, you can watch my next video right here. So stay rad and I'll see you over there.